Welcome in, along with Zach Robinson. I'm Steve Palazzolo. Today, discussing the top five cornerbacks heading into next year's NFL Draft. Of course, we have a whole season still to play, but this is our list right now after grading every single player on every play over the last four years of FBS football. So let's get right into it, Zach. I love pulling you into this because as a former quarterback, you know what good and bad cornerbacks look like. You know those guys that are going to pick you off and the guys you're going to pick on. So you got a good eye for these guys, don't you? This is the most fun position to watch. I mean, I, I would almost rather watch good cornerback play than, than quarterbacks even because good cornerback play is just, it's special. I mean, we're, we're obviously NFL is consistently searching for those guys that can lock down. So when you see a guy that jumps out on tape and you're saying, hey, this guy could be a, a true lockdown number one guy, uh, it's a lot of fun to watch. And all of the data points to coverage being the most important thing on defense. So these guys are crucial. Let's get into our list. Number five, it is Jordan Wyatt out of SMU, a name that I don't know if a lot of people are really familiar with, uh, but he really caught my eye two years ago uh, because he was draft eligible. I was getting a head start on the season, and I'm watching him against Baylor, and I thought he just had this speed and acceleration against Baylor, who always has fa fast wide receivers, and he was yeah. kind of sticking with these guys. And then the more you watch him, he's always sticking his nose in there. He's forcing fumbles, always around the ball making plays. I love having Jordan Wyatt on this list at number five. Yeah, no, I love what you wrote up on the site, and the first word he's put it was just playmaker, and that's what that's sticks right. out with this guy is uh, you, you mentioned his nose for the ball, his, his instincts playing off coverage, sitting on routes, and then if, if he's got a guy that's being held up, he's going after the ball. He's trying to get everything he can. So uh, you, you like him in off coverage, I think, especially. Um, he can kind of clean up some change of direction stuff, and he can get beat. Uh, he's not the biggest guy, so he's not going to get yeah, hands right. on and press, but uh, the, the playmaker and just knows for the ball is what sticks out with this guy. He's fun to watch. Another one of those college corners that's listed at six feet tall. I don't know if he's really 5'11 or what, but he's yeah. got good size and speed. That combination uh, it certainly puts him on our radar and a name to watch this season. Coming in at number four, an absolute monster, Jamel Dean, Auburn cornerback. The first thing you said to me is, I just watched Jamel Dean. He looks like a linebacker out there <laughs> yeah. playing corner. Uh, his specialty, though, just like his former teammate Carlton Davis, who just went in the second round uh, to the Tampa Bay Bucks, it's press coverage. These two monster corners last year at Auburn uh, really just beating up receivers on the outside. Yeah, no, no doubt. And, and that's his body type. You have to double check and make sure you're watching the right guy <laughs> because he is just a massive guy out there. But um, he moves really, really well and when he's in those press situations, changing direction for a big guy like him. But uh, going to be a guy that's kind of scheme dependent, you know, heavy man to man press team that's probably going to fit, uh, you know, where he's going to fit in. But um, when he's off coverage, he looks a little bit uncomfortable naturally for, for most big guys. It's not easy. But right. if he gets hands on you, good luck getting any separation because he's not going to let you go. Yeah, listed at 215 pounds. That is monstrous for a corner. Um, so we'll be watching to just see if he can clean up some of the movement skills in that off coverage situation. But as a press man corner, you know, scheme dependent, like you said, maybe he's a little yeah. bit higher on this list for certain teams heading right. into this year. Uh, coming in at number three, Lavert Hill out of Michigan, a guy that has the top grade out of all cornerbacks coming back for this season. Just pure production grade last season. Not as big as some of the other guys on the list, but I think his total package is right there as far as playing zone, playing man, his movement skills. Really love what Hill did last season in his first real extended action for Michigan. No, I agree with you. I mean, he just... Uh, has a no, has a knack for staying tight in man coverage. He's asked to play a lot of press at Michigan, whether it's, whether they're playing zone or uh, zone on the inside. They're pretty much man man to man right. on the outside. Uh, so he looks really comfortable in press. Uh, can play the ball. Had some early season struggles playing the ball in the air a couple of times against Florida. But as the season went on, he was he's finding the ball, and making plays on it. Had three interceptions last year and, and a number of pass deflections. So uh, definitely a guy that that you look at can play in, in multiple schemes. Can play off. Can play man. All right, coming in at number two, we've got Greedy Williams from LSU. Look at this number right here, 19.4 passer rating against last season. I was number two among all returning corners. He's number one on a lot of people's boards, and he's not a distant two from our number one guy, but uh, listed at 6'2", you know, monstrous player, a little bit like Jamel Dean from that respect, but probably a little bit better athlete and um, knows how to play man coverage, a lot to like with Greedy Williams' game. Yeah, absolutely. Looks like just a lockdown field corner in press situations. I think um, he looks a little bit uncomfortable and, and maybe not as instinctive as our, our top guy in off coverage in terms of breaking on routes that, that he can see coming, but uh, a pure man-to-man -man press corner length, ability to find the ball, he, he checks 
all those boxes. Yeah, there was a lot of plays where he is just step for step with some pretty good receivers down the field, did not lose a whole lot last year, which is why that passer rating against was so low. But I, I like what you said, it, just not as clean of an all-around player, I don't think, as our number one corner. Uh, also in the SEC, it's DeAndre Baker from Georgia. Uh, doesn't have the maybe the same pure size and physical t uh, tools as uh, Greedy Williams, but the movement skills and just how uh, sticky he is in man coverage, I thought definitely stood out on tape. Yeah, definitely. He's he's not a press going to come up and jam you at the line of scrimmage, but he does a great job just playing mirror technique, mirroring and man. Uh, and then when he's in off coverage, he might be the most dangerous because he's willing to take some chances like a Marcus Peters if he's in off coverage and sees something coming Love at that. him. Uh, we've seen plays time and time again, uh, just his instincts taking over, uh, which can also hurt him a little bit. Some of his bigger right. plays he gave up uh, were due to his eye discipline. But uh, a guy that can play off, can play press, uh, just really good at playing the ball in the air. We saw a number of plays uh, SEC championship game making over the shoulder catches. Uh, he, he is a very, very talented guy and, and a reason why he's number one. Yeah, the ball skills, I think, give him that opportunity to play a little bit like Marcus Peters, be a guy that can turn the ball over. But like you said, you double move him here and there, yeah. and you know, the, the eye discipline can get him into trouble. But I definitely love what DeAndre Baker brings to the table. Uh, let us know who your top corners are heading into the NFL draft. That's our top five. The full list is over at profootballfocus.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We've got a ton of great NFL draft content coming your way.